It's time now to take a little Sunday stroll from Argentina to Alaska. In our Sunday closer, Harry Smith meets up on the trail with the man who spent the last year on a 15,000 mile walk. A man alone walking down a highway in the desert southwest. He catches your eye because he's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Most of us would buzz right by. Once but if you, you were to slow down, it. you'd hear him singing. Desperado. This is a man oh, comfortable with his own company, no and that might be the most you're important requirement for Holly longer. Harrison, who has been walking alone for a year. How many miles have you gone so far? Close to 11,000 miles. That's hard for me to comprehend. <laughs> I try not to comprehend it because it can be really daunting for me too. Holly is walking the entire length of the Western Hemisphere. He started last December in the southernmost city in the world, Ushuaia, Argentina. What's your, your destination? My destination is Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, which is the very north of Alaska there, from one end to the other. Two others have done it, but he would be the first to do it his way. I'm trying to do it in what's considered a through hike, which is nonstop, continuous hike, uh, no breaks. Why? Why? You know, it's because no one's ever done it. Bye, Out on the road, bye, Harrison has a nickname. He goes by Cargo levee, because a good portion of his gear Them is stored in these odd-looking poles. But right now, inside here, I'm carrying my tent, <laughs> and then I've got my extra clothes, which is really nothing but extra socks because I don't have any extra clothes, just what I have on. The former Army Ranger says traveling light is the key to managing the grinding daily goal of 20, 25, or even 30 miles a day. Typically around 12, 13 hours a day is what I walk. And in all those miles, Cargo has found the rhythm of the road, his stride in sync with a self-created cadence. Walking the Americas, it's a long, long way. But you can't stop walking until you reach Prudhoe Bay. Now that's 14 different countries full of challenge and danger. But it ain't no big deal to an ex-army ranger. He sleeps where there is shelter, sometimes a hostel or motel. But more often than not, it's under the road itself. Only cargo could find comfort in the convenience of a culvert. Just for the record, uh -huh. this is not the Ritz. I know, I know. This it, is not even a hostel. I passed the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> but there was still daylight, so I had to keep on going. Cargo logs his miles with a satellite tracker and connects with friends and family on Facebook. Okay, so I got to tell you guys about my little adventure in Bogota. So I've looked at your, your posts online and I see a guy with a sparkle in his eyes and a kind of a spirit of, how about this, look what I'm doing. Is that you? I'm, I'm happy out here, Harry. A bad day out here is better than a good day at work, if you, tell, if you ask me. He self-funded the trek by selling his house, and along the way, he has been happily surprised by the kindness of strangers. People just stop, give me fruit, give me water. They lay out water on the road for me. I gotta tell you, some people are really nice, man. Cargo has faced gale force winds in Argentina, and he's dodged drug lords in Central America. He's well past the halfway point in his journey, and it seemed nothing could stop him until last week. That's Cargo in the hospital after suffering a heart attack, but he's already been released, and believe it or not, Cargo is back on the road. Do you ever feel like you're in danger? The biggest fear I have is the fear of failure. And, you know, I feel like I gotta do this walk, no matter what. I gotta do it, you know. Wow, wow, wow. Harry joins me Love out live. So let's start with his health. He's yes. okay after the heart attack, back on the Three trail? days in the hospital, they put a stent in, and the doctors were not thrilled when he said, well, you know, I'm gonna go start walking again. <laughs> right. So that's a picture from yesterday's up outside of Reno. He walked just five yesterday. He says, I'm taking it easy. Only five. Yeah, instead of 30. Unbelievable. Yeah. So let's talk about when he gets where he's going. 11,000 miles through a 15,000 mile journey. Right. When does he end up in Alaska? He hopes to get to Alaska, say June 1. So he'll have the summer to get all the way to Prudhoe, Prudhoe Bay. What a guy. Yeah. Incredible. Of people I've met, maybe one of the most amazing free spirits 
ever. Unbelievable. So cool. Harry, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Appreciate it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.